One of the greatest benefits of vector-based type is that it is fully editable. Users can change the words and characters, size, typeface, etc. However, in some circumstances, it is better to rasterize type, changing editable type into a pixel image. Never change your type to pixels unless you are doing so purposefully. I recommend duplicating your text layer before rasterizing just in case you change your mind or you mess something up. Text can be rasterized in a number of ways. I like to right click and choose to rasterize the type directly from the layers panel as shown in this screenshot. Rasterized text can be broken apart and adjusted in ways editable type cannot. But be careful when rasterizing type. If there is a typo, the text can no longer be edited by simply highlighting the typo and retyping it. It's a little ironic, yes? It is. Can you see it? Take a close look and come back to it later. In the meantime, we're going to show you how to rasterize the, the type um, so you can do some cool things to it. So um, Jessica talked about her favorite way to do this, and, and it's a real great and simple way. So all you need to do is right click. But before you do that, I'm going to create a duplicate of this by doing a Command J. And I'm going to copy that and apply the rasterize to the copy so I do this non-destructively. So just in case, I can come back to it. So I'll just simply right click here and choose rasterize type. So the things that you can do now um, include, well, there's some really cool things that you can do. So just for instance, if I take the selection tool here, I can select the top half, and uh, maybe I just want to change the top half of the word. So I can maybe break it apart. Oh, and you see the word still underneath because I have other type layer um, turned on. So if I turn that off, you can see it broken apart. And I can move it in a number of different ways. So if I wanted to create a design where I broke this apart and maybe put some graphics or some um, foliage in here, that could be really cool. I can also um, take, uh, and I'm multitasking here, so you're going to have to excuse me. I can take the paint bucket tool and um, just fill in with a different color and I can choose different colors here I'm just keeping it simple and just filling it in with one color but can also do that um, uh, and the, again these are things that you can't um, do on the fly when your um, text is editable so another thing too beyond just um, uh, maybe breaking the words apart for your design you can also um, do some other transformation. So here, um, with this design, I can go in and maybe do a layer effect. So let's try a pattern overlay. And in the pattern overlay, um, I can choose the scale of the pattern. I can choose different patterns um, depending on. Ooh, I kind of like that one. Mm, that's really cool. And um, and be beyond that, I can also change the opacity so it can blend in with the background. Um, I can also choose a different blending mode and based on what these different blending modes do, I can create different effects. So um, I kind of like that dissolve, how that looked. I like it on the black, but on the white it kind of is hurting my eyeball. It is. So maybe I will move it back to normal for now. <laughs> and also with this, you can do some transformation. So if I have um, this uh, the selected, I can go up to the edit. Filter, you want to apply a filter, right? Oh, okay, sorry. Before I do that, I'll apply a filter. So how about the distort? So under distort, let's try the, um, let's see, the twirl. Oh, that's kind of fun. That is pretty cool. So um, uh, you can apply a lot of different filters, even go through the filter gallery. So again, with filters, we know that that's pretty endless and the options that you can do. And then the last thing I want to show you is warping editable type. So I almost jumped ahead and did something that would have been a complete failure. But 
Um, it's pretty Jessica, strong. Jessica, strong words there. <laughs> Jessica saved me from embarrassment. So here, um, I'm going to jump back to this uh, this type layer. I'm going to go ahead and oh, not turn off the artboard, but turn this one off. So you still have options to do some cool things with type um, when it's still in the editable form. So one cool thing that you have as an option is to um, do some transformations. So uh, with that layer and the editable type layer selected, I can go up to the edit menu and under transform, I can either do a free transform or how about I go ahead and do a warp. So right now um, with, that, with that chosen, I can go up and see that I have some uh, drop down menu up here in the options bar. Um, right now there's none selected but I can go down and um, toggle through these to see the different warp effects um, for this option of transform. So I get sidetracked when I do this. Um, but some it's cool like things. It's like once you start, you have to click through all of them because yeah. you have to know what they all look like. Yeah. Don't know which one is going to be perfect until and I see them all. The last one could be the very best one. Could it? I think. Oh, I like it. Yeah. yeah. I think it is. Okay, so give that a shot on your own, and when you feel comfortable with editing rasterized and editable type to warp it or modify it, you can move on to the next video, and we will show you a specialized way to do something called screening back text.